If you love me, let me hear you say my name, my name. If you love me, let me hear you, babe. Cause I wonder if you feel the same, same. Or just tell me if you feel the same. and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando. I make all like shop with me videos, home decor videos, decorate with me, clean with me sometimes. Basically anything to do with like Target, home goods, shopping, hauls, that sorts of stuff. So if you love those videos, you're definitely gonna love it here. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my future videos. Today's video is a home good shop with me. Spring and summer is like, well I live in Florida so it's kind of spring and summer like most of the year, but it's on the horizon. All the stores are putting out spring and summer decor. So I wanted to see what was new this week at home goods. Things change every single day at home goods, every single week, every single store is totally different. So I always like to check out home goods at least one time a week and share that with you. It's always a new adventure. You never know what you're gonna find speaking of spring and summer I know that my sweatshirt is really bright and some people are gonna be like whoa, but I just love bright colors They just make me feel so happy the weather's been so gloomy and gross in Orlando So I just needed like a little bit of a pick-me-up before you guys ask this is um, the cropped like three-quarter Zip up from Target a new day brand. I'll have it linked down below for you guys I have it in a couple colors. It's really comfortable. It's really soft on the inside This is cropped so if you don't like things cropped then you probably won't like it But I just love wearing it with high-waisted leggings like I am today. It's just super comfy and I love it. But on that note, let's go inside and see what is brand new this week at Home Goods. Okay, this Ray Dunn lamp has me all sorts of torn. If you've seen any of my videos, you know how obsessed Brian and I are with pineapples. My ring has pineapple engraved on the inside. It's just an inside thing between me and Brian, but Ray Dunn, you've taken it too far. So we are actually on the hunt for some outdoor furniture. Our new apartment is going to have like a big wraparound balcony that is so awesome. And I'm hoping that we can find like a really cool outdoor set. They have one right behind me that I want to show it to you guys. That's really awesome. It's like bar height and I think it'll be perfect. But I don't know. I'll just show it to you guys. Here is the set. I wish it wasn't gray, honestly. That's what I'm not loving about it. It's like gray and navy. But I really like the table. It's like a bar height table, like I said. And it does come with two chairs that have little pads. I just don't really feel like the chairs go with the table. But it is a three-piece set for... 400. These are awesome too. These are actually rocking chairs. They're really cool. They have this like rope woven detail. They are 200 a piece. I really like these. They have two of them. Oh, I just don't know what the vibe is for our like patio yet. I mean, this is freaking gorgeous. Like I wish that we could afford to buy this because a five piece set is honestly kind of like what we need because it is like wrap around. So I know we want like a little couch maybe and then like a table with chairs. I'm not exactly sure yet, but this is super nice. It's just a little bit pricey for what we're looking for. Oh my gosh, look at this side table. I saw someone post this actually on Instagram, a home goods account that I follow. It's $50. Oh my gosh, I'm actually in love with this. Maybe for like an outdoor table. It's perfect, it has a little pineapple. This is another really cool outdoor set. I feel like I might have shown this before, maybe at another home goods, I'm not exactly sure, but I know I've seen this before. It's super low, like the chairs are really low and wide and then they come with a little table and this one is $300. I really like this one too. This is so cool. It's like connected, so it's like two seats and a little table. And it is $399.99, so $400. I love this idea, it's so cool, especially like having the little table in the middle. Love it. Oh, these are gorgeous. These are like the stools I showed in my last home good shop with me, but the chair version. So Serena and Lily Balboa dining chair dupes. These are 150 a piece. Love these. I'm obsessed with this. It's $500. It's like a giant round chair. It may swivel. Yep, it swivels as well. I saw something just like this at Ashley Furniture that kind of goes with our new couch. I just love. It's just so unique, but it's huge like it's freaking huge it's definitely like a two-person chair you have to have a really big living room or like an upstairs loft to fit something like this but it's awesome oh my gosh these chairs are so pretty obsessed with the cane detail and the wood definitely needs a cushion um it is technically i guess an outdoor chair but of course you could use it inside great price too that's an awesome price and they do have two of them 
doesn't go with the table at all but these chairs are super nice so many clearance rugs like you can see all the little red stickers a rug is something that we're gonna need it's one of those things that I'm not gonna get until we're like in there but they have a bunch on clearance I mean if I found one I loved like I would definitely get it but I think I'm gonna try to wait until we get in there although I do kind of like that one. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm just scared that my dogs are going to use a rug like that, like a pee pad, because we do put pee pads down for them when we're gone for a long time, and they'll use those. And I just feel like, to them, a rug would be like a giant pee pad. So, it's kind of why I don't want to get a rug. They have a lot of cool, like, 3D artworks. This one has, like, little, like, feathery type leaves. This one has one that looks kind of like a piece of coral, so that's really cool. This one has like peacock feathers. This one's awesome, this one's 40. And then this one has like crystals or rocks. Agate shadow box collection. This is really cool, it says it has genuine stone. They have two of those. And then this one is like a really like long one. This one is $79.99. I wish that the frame wasn't gray, but I love like the rice paper design inside and I love how long it is. It would definitely fill up a space really, really nicely. This is nice. It's a two piece wall art set. It is $59.99. You get both canvases and they kind of just go together like the way you put them. It kind of continues the artwork. Definitely nice and big, would cover a big wall and make a really big statement. And it's really clean with like the black and white and then just like the light wood frame. This is such a cool blanket ladder. Love the color of it. I feel like it would go so well with all my Studio McGee stuff. And then it actually has metal bars. This is amazing. Definitely my favorite one I have ever seen. And it is only $50. These baskets right next to it, also amazing. These are actually what caught my eye. Three different sizes. They are woven and then almost have this like ropey burlap little like detail at the top. The smallest one is 20. The biggest one is 30. So I'm gonna guess the middle size one is like 25. This little lamp, well, it's not little at all, but it's really pretty. Has this like woven detail. Also has some like gold accents and then like a linen lampshade and then a wood base. Definitely makes a statement. They do have a couple of them. And I love this, this is great. Definitely pricey at $200. The store is literally overflowing with like new office stuff, office chairs, all different like styles and everything. It's pretty crazy. This is such a cool piece of furniture. I don't know if like these sides open. Oh, they do. So the sides open and they have two little shelves and then three drawers in the middle. Oh, oh, it presses. Oh, I see now. It's like a cool toned piece of wood, but it's pretty big, but I love these. This is super, super convenient. Okay, these are awesome. I'm obsessed with these. This soap dispenser is so neat, and they have two of them side by side. I might go ahead and grab these for either like the main sink for like dish soap and hand soap, or for Brian and I's bathroom since we'll each have our own sink. We can have our own little soap dispensers. These are so awesome. I love the color of these like new Ray Dunn dog bowls. I feel like they're showing up a little bit more blue on camera than they really are. They're like more of like a minty tealish color than like an blue but I don't know on my camera it kind of looks blue but it's definitely like a little bit more green in person I just love it this is one of my most favorite colors ever so I just love the colors fun fact Ray Dunn dog bowls were actually the first pieces of Ray Dunn I ever bought before that I would look from one of my friends who collected Ray Dunn I had no idea what I was looking for I would just send her pictures if I ever found anything because back when I started collecting it was like impossible to even find like a mug, but I decided to buy the water bowls and put them down in my kitchen. And the second I saw them at my house, I like fell in love and totally went under the Ray Dunn spell, which it appears that I am still under a little bit, but I just don't buy nearly as much. I actually don't really buy anything. Although I am carrying around this little like tweet heart canister because it's really cute. This dog bed is awesome. Tuck the tags under, but it's like this wooden dog or cat bed, like any sort of pet bed. And it has little like legs and it's just like wooden. It doesn't really feel very comfy, but it's very, very nice to look at. Okay, this is actually really, really cute. The top comes off. It's a little like chick and it just says Tweetheart. 
God, Ray Dunn, get out of my life. Okay, this is actually really cute too. I feel like this would kind of be like an in-demand item and I found it, but I literally have no idea of like what is in demand and what isn't. Just little like egg salt and pepper shakers. They come in a little basket. These are really cute. A couple Target Tuesday videos ago, I picked up the new tulips from the dollar spot for Easter and said that I needed a jar that was like narrow on the top, but like not too tall. And I think that one of these could be perfect. I love this one, but I'm afraid it would be too narrow at the top. Same with that one. So like a tiny bit wider than that, but like not much and not this tall, like so shorter, but like that big of a top. This is tough. I'm also in love with like this milk jar shaped blue glass. This is only $4.99. Like that's literally such a steal. Okay, so this is actually really really cool i wish that there was like a way that i could put like pumps on these bottles because this would actually be so perfect for my coffee syrups which might sound totally crazy but i think i don't know maybe there's like a little little cork top i could put in there where we could like pour it i'm not really sure but this would literally be perfect for coffee syrup okay so this is what i'm talking about so i'm just gonna try one a little stopper Pull it out of here. It could go right in there. If I got custom labels made, this would be so cool. This is for sure coming home with me. I'm this is I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. See these? I'm so confused. We actually got our new couch from Ashley's and they had these exact same things there. I like distinctly remember this because I wanted it. So it's super funny that they have it here at Ashley's. It was like close to $40 and here it's only $14.99. They have a bunch of these Minnie and Mickey little mugs for $5.99. I don't know if it's because I'm in Florida or what, but these are really cool. They look like something you would find at like a vintage shop almost, but they have a bunch of them. Also have like some Hogwarts stuff, nine and three quarters, and then like a Pooh Bear spoon rest, a Mickey spoon rest. There's just like a bunch of mickey stuff and they also have like jurassic park so like disney and universal stuff i'm starting to give up hope that i'm ever gonna get the studio mcgee one that has like the little leather piece at the top i just always miss it when it comes back into stock but they have a couple options here that are really nice as well for a great price so definitely an option if i don't end up getting the studio mcgee one i have been seeing these all over ray dunn facebook groups it's a little like Ray Dunn candle and it says April showers and it looks like little yellow boots and I'm just I just found it on a tank but I just thought it was funny and I wanted to show it to you another kind of crazy one has like a little lid this little like hip bunny it says happy Easter what is she doing I just found these they do have like a little hanging on the back this is a really small one and they do have a bigger one for 15 and then this one is $7.99 and I'm thinking it could be cool for my little basket wall in the making what do you guys think? This is amazing. I love like the woven sides and it's like almost like paper mache. And then it has like the little like rattan, rattan detail. It is $40, oh solid wood. Oh no way, this whole thing is wood? That's so awesome. Solid wood handcrafted in Indonesia. This is really, really pretty. I'm obsessed with these little mirrors back here. I love like the oddball shapes of them. They're very like bohemian, but also like art deco or like mid-century modern, which has been like the vibe I've been feeling lately also. Hi, they are $30 for the three mirrors. I am currently looking for some new throw pillows. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys something. So if you've been here for a while, you probably know that I'm always like, only buy pillows you can take the covers off, only buy pillows you can take the covers off. Well, I got some comments that were like, I always throw my pillows in the wash, like throw them in the wash full and then I pop them in the dryer and then I take them out and they're always fine. I threw my four hearth in hand pillows because the covers don't come off. I went against my own judgment and bought the pillows that the covers don't come off, threw them in the wash because they got a little bit dirty from all the dogs, threw them in the dryer, they're destroyed. The little like tassel on the side is all over everything, like all over the floor. It literally exploded in my dryer. The pillows are all pilled. I don't know if I did it wrong, but I'm just back on the only buy pillows you can take the cover off train because they took forever to dry. It was honestly a disaster and all four of my pillows are completely ruined, so. 
only buy pillows you can take the cover off. Someone just stopped me and asked if I had a YouTube channel and then they asked if I had a business card, which is actually a great idea. People always ask me, oh, what's your YouTube? So it'd be a lot easier if I got business cards made. Maybe that'll be my project for tonight. I really like these. These are really cute, but I don't like the color of the balls on the side, but I do like the plainness of the pillow. And then I like the idea of the balls. I just don't like that they are gray. So many carts of Ray Dunn Easter stuff today. Two bunnies kissing, this big basket that says jelly beans, and then this little one that says hop, another one that says hip hop, tons of super cute Ray Dunn today. Gosh, I thought there was a lot of Easter decor before. Look at all the Easter stuff now. All of the like Ray Dunn little gnomes. I know that these are always really, really popular. This one's holding an egg, he's super cute. Tons of Ray Dunn. This is really cute. I love this. The three bunnies all stacked on top of each other with like little carrots. It's carved wood. That's really, really nice. Another one. This one has like a decorative hat, purple with the little pom pom balls. It says Hoppy Easter. A bunch. That one says Hello Spring. Easter egg hunt. There's so many. Like, there is seriously so much Easter stuff now and a ton of Easter Ray Dunn. I love this pot that this outdoor plant is in. I love just like the black and white and then the little fake lavender looks really, really good in it. I just love this pot a lot. Big fan. Okay, I absolutely love these. I feel like maybe some people will be like, what the heck is that? But they are for like food. So like if you're having like an outdoor barbecue or anything like that, you can put the food in there and then have it open when people are eating and then they can close it when they've gotten what they wanted. This one's only $7.99. They have a bunch of different sizes too. Like this one is taller and the lid comes all the way off and on. Whereas this one, you like put it over like that. These are so awesome if you have a lot of like outdoor barbecues or things like that growing up. We did because we had a pool. So we'd always eat dinner outside and we have a lot of like barbecues and summer birthdays and that sort of thing so these are very reminiscent of that for me and it makes me really happy all of this like summer stuff summer games summer chairs like outdoor entertainment type like dishware serving wear just makes me so happy because I love the summer more than anything in the whole world which is why I live in Florida in one of my recent Target Tuesday videos I was saying how you can find a lot of really similar cases here as you can there but for a fraction of the price like look at this one by Nicole Miller. So cute looking and it's only $7.99. Alrighty you guys, well that is gonna be it for me and my lime green sweater. I really hope that you love seeing all of the current spring and summer decor that they have going on at Home Goods. Always such cute stuff. Literally everything changes by the day, by the location, which is why going to Home Goods is always such an adventure. Thank you guys for coming along with me today. If you haven't yet, definitely make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.